Welcome to our lecture online. Our next rule involves negative exponents. What if we have something like this, x raised to a negative exponent? Well, the rule is explained as follows. If a number is raised to a negative exponent, like let's say x is a number and it's raised to a negative exponent, then move the number to the denominator and make the exponent positive. So then you write 1 over x to the positive end instead of x to the minus n. That's the rule. An example of that, or a few examples of that, is when we have x to the minus 3, that is equal to 1 over x to the positive 3. 5 to the minus 3 is equal to 1 over 5 to the positive 3. And of course, 5 to the third is 5 times 5 times 5, which is 125. Or 4 to the negative 2 is equal to 1 over 4 to the positive 2, which is equal to 1 over 16, because 4 squared is 4 times 4. So why is that so? Because here sometimes we are confused. Why can we say that? Why is that a rule? Well, take a look at these examples here. Let's say we have 4 to the second power divided by 4 to the fourth power. Well, the rule says that when we have the bases the same, the raised to exponents and we're dividing, then we subtract exponents. So this is 4 to the 2 minus 4, which is 4 to the minus 2. And of course, we then realize that 4 to the minus 2, we should be able to write, according to our rule, as 1 over 4 squared. Well, let's take a look at it this way. Again, we have 4 to the 2nd power divided by 4 to the 4th power. We know that 4 to the 2nd power is 4 times 4. And 4 to the 4th power is 4 times 4 times 4 times 4, 4 factors of 4. Then we realize that this 4 and this 4 cancels, and this 4 and this 4 cancels, so we're left with 1 times 1, which is 1, and 4 times 4, which is 4 times 4 here. And 4 times 4 is 4 squared, so notice we have exactly the same thing, 1 over 4 squared, is equal to 1 over 4 squared. And we can move it back to the numerator and make it negative because if we can write this like this, then we can write this like this. And so what we're saying here is that 4 to the negative 2 power must be equal to 1 over 4 squared because these things are the same right here. And therefore, we know that that rule is indeed valid. And so whenever we have a negative exponent, sometimes it's really easy to deal with it by moving the number to the denominator and make it into a positive exponent. And that's how it's done.